My name is Craig Rowley, and I am the Director of Technology here at White's Chapel United Methodist Church. So White's Chapel started in 1872. It was known as Oak Hill or Austin Chapel. The later 1800s, we had Reverend Lewis M. White come here, which is the namesake of the church. More recently, this church began to grow in the early 90s when Dr. John McKellar came to our church. From that moment, we began to grow every single year and became one of the largest uh, Methodist churches in our conference. The main idea with the video wall project was to take it from its original 16 by nine aspect ratio and just think outside of the box. What can we do with this to make it not just a large television screen, but to expand into a new idea. Our original focus was mostly just the stage and with the original arrangement of the video wall, uh, it just had you focus in on just the chancel, and there's so much more outside of just the chancel that we could provide an accent to. One of the obstacles we faced was, okay, where are we going to put these panels? One of the ideas that came across was maybe mount them on the columns that we have on the left and right side of the stage. The main obstacle was that was, how are we going to mount them? We were looking for PTZs, a couple other items on our upgrade, and we hadn't found anyone who would be able to mount the video wall pieces to the columns. Uh, most of them were just on the programming end or selling the actual fixture. DRI was able to offer us uh, the brackets and the installation. So it was nice to have an all-in-one resource to go to. Thanks to DRI, we came up with these brackets that were able to go into the concrete, uh, modified slightly to be able to accommodate what our vision was. Working with DRI has been a great experience. They were upfront with the uh, costs in the beginning. We communicated our ideas very clearly. They accommodated everything we asked for. The best part about it was we were able to come in on a Tuesday and have everything installed by a Friday and didn't have to put up any caution signs or any under construction signs on any Sunday services. So on the side video walls, we use it to expand our main image on the center. We also use it to put some advertisements of coming events, some of the ministries that uh, have events coming up. I really look forward to see what other opportunities lie with this new arrangement. We're constantly changing, we're constantly adapting to what the standard and what is beyond the standard of technology in a worship space and look forward to working with the RI in the future.